Hello everyone, Scottish Lad here and today we're going to be reviewing a set of the Red Dragon German Price Black Editions which are also happen to be Special Edition 24 gram, also available in 22 and 26 and 20 gram for your soft tipples but let's crack on with it Right everybody, we've got a nice close up look to the Red Dragon German Price Black Edition obviously Special Edition these are obviously manufactured by Red Dragon, as you can tell with the Red Dragon logo just in there. And obviously simon, simon, synonymous with given Price is that wave and obviously that grip. But we'll get back to that in a few moments. These darts are obviously 90% tungsten. And they come in three weights and steel tip. They come in 22, 24 and 26. In today's review, I'm reviewing the 24 gram. Obviously that's my desired weight between the three, so 24 gram. And for soft tip, for all those of you that like soft tip out there, you can get them in at 20 grams soft tip. Now, these are 90% tungsten, as I said. They're going to set you back around 60 quid, 50, 59 pound 90, if you want to be exact. As you can see, for front to middle grippers, you get the obviously the better grip than most people. That padre, that buttress, grooved grip onto the wave, obviously, which is where I was gripping from. Didn't think there was a lot of um, grip there for rear grippers, in my opinion. There is a few a wee cut here at the end as well, but even then, it didn't really help in my opinion. Red Dragon logo in there that takes you on to the black Nitrotech stems that come with, and the black and blue Iceman Price, given Price flights, which I actually really like these flights, they're actually really nice. Also come with the Red Dragon Tridented um, points, as you can see I've kind of battered them a wee bit, thrown them at the board, but nonetheless, <coughs> smashing looking darts, but the length from here, where the trident meets the barrel, to here, where the stem meets the barrel, is 50.8 millimetres so it's kind of dead to weights and most weights these days is kind of 50.8 when it comes to red dragon and one more and the width at the widest point so you're kind of talking from here just before the tape there's a slight wee tape at the rear as well is 6.5 millimetres now as i said with the grip it's that betress groove throughout pretty much right up to about here then you've got the wave as I said, the wave does add a tiny bit of grip, but it's not a lot. And then here at the rear, you've got a wee kind of razor cut as well. But it's a milled grip, I should really say. It's like a razor mill cut. The grip at the front, for me, so here to here, is probably level 3. There's no doubt in that. It's level 3 grip. And at the rear, obviously where I was thrown, I was thrown from kind of right about here. So probably level 2, 2.5, in my opinion. But I've given you all the necessary information on the Gerwin Price Black Editions. Let's get them over to the board, and we'll see how we got on with them. Right guys, we've got the Gavin prices set up. As you can see, we're throwing them at the board as, obviously, I speak. I thought I'd do something a bit different with the front section. In terms of the grip, through the air, the front would probably be front to mid. Probably level two and a half, pushing a three in my opinion. So adequate for your front to middle grippers. As for us rear grippers, like myself, that wave, grip style does actually add a little bit of grip but to me it's not it's probably a level two grip maybe a level two and a half for me i like a really grippy dart and i like gripping at the rear but that just isn't enough grip for me at the, in the, at the rear in my opinion obviously gerwin price is a front gripper so the way he throws is obviously something like this and then he throws away he doesn't throw from the rear he also uses the aluminium stems whereas I was using the supply I'm using the supply set up in the front section. But obviously I'll keep throwing these for a while. I'll do an update video in the future and we'll obviously see how we go on with them in the future. The points obviously are 26 mil a little bit short side. For me I'd add maybe a longer style point, the same point, free flow maybe. But other than that, the way these fly it's just obviously like this the way I was throwing it was like that. So I was releasing just before I should be, I'm just putting that down to the lack of grip and obviously for me as that for lack of grip. Other than that though, they're really nice darts, they're really well made by Red Dragon as you can imagine. Red Dragon always do make their darts really good. 
what I would have done differently is I was adding some blue paint in there, just to add a bit of character, maybe to some blue nitro text names rather than black. Just to add a bit of pizzazz to the dart. But other than that, lovely set of darts. Obviously they come in the silver version with the blue paint, which is obviously the set that Gavin uses. The World Cup edition, also the World Cup edition, and the World, there's another one, the new ones, the Funders. But let's go and get wrapped up. There we go guys, that was my review of the Gavin Price Black Edition in 24 gram. As I've said throughout, they're also available in 22 and 26 gram for steel tip and 20 gram for soft tip. Stick to what I'm saying, the grip for the rear rear gripper probably isn't the greatest in my opinion, probably level two and a half at that rear. But for the front grippers, where that betress grip is, with obviously kind of milled cuts, it's a definite level three, maybe pushing three and a half depending on how soft your hands are. For me, my hands are very soft, so I like a really grippy dart. So, nonetheless, this might not be a dart for me, it could be a dart for you and whoever else, obviously, you know that likes Gerwin Price. Good collector's piece as well, if you're a Gerwin Price fan. I mean, they are special edition. Unlike him, um, so not the same as these World Championship darts, or the World Cup darts, or the new Thunder darts, but nonetheless, these are... Obviously, definitely unique. I've always said Gavin Price darts are unique, just down to that wave grab. It's not something you see very often. But let me know what you thought of the review down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think of Gavin Price as a player. Also, what you like as um, what you think of Gavin Price's darts. But don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, like I just said. Stay safe out there and keep on that.